you're on me, dude. No, I'm dude, you here. cannot legally do that. Here's your hand off. You're not making a three punches. Stop following me, bro. What a man, got some names up. Today, we're delving into the realm of the absolute worst Karens to ever grace the aisles of Walmart. From brawls with employees to showdowns with fellow shoppers, these are the top tier Karen moments that unfolded in the epicenter of chaos. This disabled guy rides a motorized scooter in store while shopping. Out of the blue, a crazy lady demands him to give up the scooter. When he refuses, she throws a pot at him. The workers try to calm things down by asking the guy to leave, but other customers step in to defend him, and eventually, the worker lets him stay. The whole thing. What happened? The girl threw the pot at me. She came over here. The lady at the, uh, uh, the lady who gave me this car, I walked her to her car, and she didn't say nothing about giving this car to nobody. I got in this car. She walked up on me right on that shelf over there and told me, you know that car was for my man. I said, bro, who the f you talking to? You can walk. First of all, I'm disabled, a disabled through the state of Nebraska. Honey, I don't have no hips. First off, I, hold on. First off, I don't have no hips. I don't have no hips. So I, don't, I can't walk. I'm going to need you to come back and do that. Why? I'm not doing that. She's doing pots at me. I'm talking to her. Well, I'm talking to her. I'll bring it down. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but I'll bring it down. Okay, well, then I'm, I'm going to. I don't have to come back every single time. No, it's fine. But I need and trust me, I'm going to do a physical report about the accident. What is your name? What is your name? Omaha. What is your name? My name does not matter. Yes, right enough. Okay. I do not work for Omaha Police Department. Okay, what is your name? I want a security guard. And so, what is your name? I'm asking you what's your name. Yeah. You can contact Allied University. No, that's my okay. name. Right now. He didn't start. No, I did not start. I that's what I was saying. I know he's talking about because I'm talking about. And I told him that I would bring my level down. Nobody's getting in trouble again. But I told you I would bring my level down. I'm sorry about that. I hear you. Well, I'm not gonna walk in the parking lot. That woman's still out there in the parking lot. Because if she comes back, that don't mean nothing. He's with me, and he just. I told you I would bring my level down. I gotta. Because I gotta do some stuff. Okay, if he says, I'll do something. I told you I would bring my level down. If he goes, I gotta go. Please let the man stay. He didn't start it. He didn't start it. She came up to him and she asked him. She told him we're not going to ask him. He had to get out of the mess. Well, she was gonna slap him. He told her. I have a bad back. She said, I don't give a blah, blah, blah. I live in his own righteous. She said, and okay. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Somebody just wants to find your clothes and pot it back in your head. And that's what I came to figure out. So, but I apologize for yelling and hollering in the screen, but I was just talking to the lady because I know her. I think we do know each other. Yes. So I'm trying to get, get her to understand that I'm disabled from being through the state of Nebraska. I can't walk. I can't go no farther than two blocks without having a basket or something that's under me. So. But anyway, if you understand, I'll bring it down. This male Karen employee is off the rails. He's holding a customer hostage, even though the dude has the receipt for what he bought. Wait, and you're not going to push the card into me. That is assault. So please move. move. Go get your no, manager. Go get your manager. Go ahead. Go get him. Go get him. I'm not going to get your manager. I'm not getting it's not on me to get him. You're the one stopping me. I, here's my receipt. Now you're in, now you're holding me hostage against my will. Yo, can you go get the manager? We can stand here all day. You're underpaid, man. It's cool. It's all I good. get it. Yeah, you're underpaid. I get it. It's all you're good. mad at life. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. It is. You it's cannot stop me. You cannot stop me or hold me against my will. That is illegal. You could follow me to my car if you like. Store, Dude, you, you could follow me to my I'm car if you like. So now, now he's, he's blocking Hi. my way. Look at that. That's Hi. illegal. That's Hi. holding me against my will. Hi. Not going to have somebody hold me against Dude, my you're will. Just, you're on me, dude. No, I'm dude, you here. cannot legally do that. You're standing on me. No, I'm trying to go around you it and you keep matter. getting in front of me. 
I You're can't wait. To po- I here. cannot wait to post this online. Post oh, dude, it. TikTok's gonna blow up because of this one. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Dude, look at this guy. So first off, your guy cannot stop my way. He cannot get in my way, and he cannot physically. No, you don't. Get, he cannot physically touch me. And I've been recording the whole. Yes, you did. You. Oh, I got it. Bounced into me, bro. Look at that. Look at that. He cannot do that legally. That is against the law. Yeah, Yeah, follow me out. This male Karen was causing a scene in the store. And when the employees showed up to help him, he switched gears and started acting like he's the victim of racism, totally ignoring his own crazy behavior. Excuse me, why are you guys around me? You asked for assistance, sir. We're here. Okay, but it don't take like three of y'all. You want to pay for the milk? Yes, I do. I'm nervous as hell. Okay, can you scan it for me then, please? I can't wait till somebody see this. It's all kind of inappropriate stuff going on right now. I'm going to ask again, why does it take three, three of y'all to, three of you guys to be here to help me? I'm not disabled or anything. I'm just trying to, I had to ask you guys five, for help so many times because y'all made me so nervous, man. And y'all still standing here? I used to like this Walmart. Thank you. Why are you guys standing here? Come on. No, I'm gonna make a sense. Why y'all standing? I'm not doing nothing. Why y'all standing here like I'm a criminal or something? It's because I'm black? Why y'all standing? Why it take three of y'all to stand around me for about five minutes? Have a great night. All right, have a great night. You have a good week when your supervisor see this, ma'am. We gonna see if your supervisor allow y'all to stand above citizens shopping. This Karen was filming the workers in the store. When a worker politely tells her she can't record, Karen refuses to listen and keeps filming him while he's just minding his own business. Oh, Lord. No, this is my phone. I don't want to turn my camera off on my phone. I'm sorry, I won't do that. This is my phone. Is there a sign that I can't use my phone? Okay, I'm recording me at the store. Okay. 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 All right. This male Karen was asking the worker to open the back door of the store so he can leave. When they said no, he starts demanding their names and begins lecturing about how bad the service is. Call police. I can wait for okay. police. Call Mark. We can get a police report number and go to court and stuff about it. I'll show my video. What are you going to go to court for? That we didn't unlock the door for you? No, I just want to just document my experience in Walmart. That's all. Okay, well, I'm going to document it again. Back in TLE, I believe it's Do you guys have any black managers at all? Yeah, we got several. Please. Really? Are they up there? Uh, excuse me? Are they up here? On the, on the picture? No. It's just automotive. In our name, she's videotaping. Is that what's going on? Uh, I just asked to get off the back. I he said, wants I, to go out this door. And I, I said, smart. okay, and I said I would leave. I said I was leave. I was on my way to leave. And I said, excuse me, sir, what's your name? I said, are you a manager? He said, yes. I said, okay, what is your name? He said, I refuse to give my name. So I said, okay, I'm going to record this, and I'm going to send the video to the National Corporation for Customer Service to Walmart. <clears throat> Because that's, I feel like that's uh, unprofessional to give, to refuse to give uh, even a first name or something to uh, put to context your uh, service and who you are as a person. That's all. So he refused to give his name. He's a manager here. I documented the managers here back in automotive, and I, I'm gonna leave. So he said he's gonna have my tr- truck towed, so I can wait for the police. They can tow the truck. And then I can get the report number. Don't forget, and but then, uh, how come you don't have any black managers up here? Oh, that's automotive. That's automotive. I actually have any black managers. He said yes. This this gentleman over here is a manager. Okay, no problem. 
I, di- I didn't know. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. That's why I asked. Obviously, you don't have any in automotive. That's why I asked. So you do have some. It doesn't matter. You're right. It doesn't matter. You're right. I'm not saying that it does. The door is locked. It was just a general question. Okay. It was just a general question. I was about to leave. The only reason why I'm still here because I said, what is your name, sir? Well, my name is Mark. Okay. I'll go ahead and tell you that right now. Okay. You're Mark. See. That's, this, that's, door, this door is locked. Okay. Well, actually, out the front door. Now, if you were him, I'd be gone already. Okay. But he said, I don't have to give you my name, and I refuse to give you the money. So I said, at that point, okay, call the police. What I can do is get the police report yeah. number. That's all. I'll say the front door is free to uh, for, unlock. You're free to leave out the front door. Okay. okay. Uh, can you provide his name, or do you do you not have to yeah, provide his name? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Is right that his name? Yep. Where? I don't see his name. There's my name tag. It says Douglas. Oh, I didn't see the name tag. So you're Douglas. You're Douglas. Okay, if you're Douglas, I can leave. That's all I was trying to get. His name. That's it. Okay. Have a good day. You have a good day too, sir. This worker tells a customer to Google it when they ask for help because he was busy with another customer. The manager talks to him, saying that's not cool and he should have asked the customer to wait. But the worker keeps defending his move, so the manager has to let him go. I told her I don't care if she says that I'm rude because I did do my job, I did help her. That's exactly what I said, I told you that. Right. And I still don't care okay. because she could tell you I punched her and I don't care because I didn't do anything to her. I helped her, Okay. don't care. So I did you my job. You not care in this business. At the end of the day, you have to care the associate. So I understand in the moment, I, I mean, I'm talking. Let me talk and I can give you the floor. I understand in the moment you were busy. I understand that. We can't always help everyone at the same time. But the way that you went about the situation was not correct. Um, you can't just tell a customer to Google it. If they knew to just Google it and read it for themselves, they wouldn't come to you for help. So in that situation, the better route would have been to either ask, to ask her to wait until you were done with the customers or to call somebody else for backup. Um, your words to me were, if she can't read, that's not your problem. No, I did not say that. Should have recorded me. And I know I exactly what I said. Okay, what'd you say? I said that she didn't want to read. Then she wants okay. me to read it for her. This is, a, we're in the electronics. This is a business where I'm by myself. You're constantly going to be by yourself. You have to be prepared for that. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of high activity. Mm-hmm. So for you to say for me, to think that I could just come into my work and that there would be any help. That's not the case. You have to be prepared to, to be by yourself. And I was prepared to handle everything on my own. I don't look forward to my backup. I don't think the managers are gonna come and help me. Okay. And I showed her the list. I was very kind to her. I'm on camera going back and forth between customers. Five times I went to her. At no point did I say, ma'am, I cannot help you anymore. I did not say that. Okay. And so I gave her all the information, step by step, hot spot. I laid my phone down for her so she could read it. So the thing is, reading something and understanding it are two different things. You might be able to read something and understand it. Not everyone is the same way. Sometimes they need that extra guidance, especially the fact that she was significantly older than both you and I. So telling her to read it, you maybe she has a issue with reading she didn't tell me that she doesn't have to that's her personal business the point is at the end of the day she came to an associate who was supposed to help her and she didn't feel like she got the help that she needed yeah i have a job to do so i really don't have time to be asking for all this help or to be like you know consulting for best buy this is not best buy where we could just where we get a commission to do all this work for them that's not how it works at the end of the day, Christian, we are in retail. We are here to serve our customers. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. So comparing it to Best Buy, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But at the end of the day, this situation that we're talking about right now, you do not handle it correctly. And not only did you not handle it correctly, this is not the first time that this has been an issue. So I didn't handle it correctly because I told you that I didn't care that she lied to you, that I was rude. That's where we're at. Cause that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. She lied to you, straight up lied to you. And I'm sorry I don't have time to to stop my line. And for that's a lot of pressure on me. The clock is ticking. I never asked you to stop your line. I when I came and talked to you about it, you had not a single customer in electronics. I asked you then that she was still waiting. 
can you come and help her if you flat out refused? Yeah, because she said I was rude. So why would I help somebody that's already upset with me? She wasn't upset. She just needed extra help and you didn't. And why why didn't you help her? I did help her. You're the free one. I'm not free. You're free. You can do all these things. Okay, Christian. So we're going to stop it right there. Because number one, you don't know what my job entails, nor do I need to disclose it to you. Number two, that's your area. And we're all responsible for the same thing, taking care of our customers. And so based on the situation, the outcome of it, and the fact that we've had numerous encounters like this before, I am letting you go. Okay. So you are free to take it up with another coach or store manager if you so desire. But mm -hmm. as of today, I am terminating you. Oh, okay. All righty. Thanks for doing me a favor. Thank you. Um, let me see your best in your badge, sir. This guy goes up to the manager because a worker snatched his bag to get a receipt. The manager apologizes for his worker's behavior, but the customer just can't let it slide. This gentleman um, was upset that Donald Spirity went in his bag. I let him know that was part of our policies here, and then he proceeded to attack me very firmly on the shoulder, which I did not I have a video recorded right now. You're on video. Don't you hey, lie. That's fine. You they want to they they stop me to check my bags, but yet there's a gentleman that walks out of here with a whole grocery cart full Thank of you. stuff and refused to show him his receipt. Okay. okay. You can't go into my property. You can't open my bags and take out a right, receipt. Right, that's, that's not a best part. We can ask for your receipt. You for can sure. ask. Yep, absolutely. But he went right into my bag. I got okay. it on video, okay? She's saying it's okay. And no, I didn't assault can... her at all. I didn't I, say I, you assaulted me. I said you formally okay. tapped me on the shoulder. Like this. That's it. Because I'm getting her attention. You say, well, this gentleman here was asking the receipt of another gentleman that just kept on sure. walking. Sure. So what's the problem? I, I, I don't is, understand. This is great. Hey, this is David. I'm the answer protection manager. Good. Okay. Um, so he goes into my bags. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yep. He goes into my bags to re to retrieve my receipt. I go through this every time. Yep. But yet there's another customer that walks out of here, asks to see his receipt, and that customer just kept going. So why is the attention on me? You can't do a legal search. You can't go into my property. Once I pay for this stuff, mm -hmm. it now becomes mine. It was yours. Now it's we mine. I understand that. We, we do have a so What gives him the right to go into my bags? He shouldn't have it. I'll address that. Okay? But uh, we can ask, and you are more than welcome to say, this no, is, thank you, go away. This is away. totally voluntary. This is a sales club. This is a Costco where it's yep. part of the membership. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're subject to search. And I go through this every time. Yep. Every time. Anytime you come to the register, or excuse me, come to the door with an unbagged item, we're going to ask. That's going to happen. Now, you're more than welcome to say, no, thank you, and walk by. Maybe as a training issue. I'm not going to discuss discipline of associates to your customer. So what would you like right now? I've agreed that it's a training issue. I've explained our process. I've stated we're going to address it. So what else a, can I do for you to engage It's not issue? just a training issue. Okay? It's in violation of the expectation of peace and privacy. Okay. You're welcome to file a police report if you feel that you've been wrong. Well, so I'll address it. Well, okay. I, I got a lawyer and an attorney, but that lady okay. there, I mean, all I did okay. was catch her attention and say, that guy's going right out the door. And then she gets all offended by it. Okay. Well, like I said, if you feel that we violated a law, you're welcome to call the police and file a report. Okay. Otherwise, I've explained the process to you. All right. I told you we're going to address it. There's absolutely nothing else I can do for you. I, you know, I will take care of this myself. But, you know, do it. You know, what you got to do. You know, I put a sign on there. You know, it's it's. Uh, this dude gets all annoyed and acts rude to the worker at the counter, thinking she's slow. But guess what? The worker confronts him about it and puts him in his place. How many water did you drink? How many water did you drink? Four. Four? Four, and they're including the Over here, four, or there, one. So it's a total of five. Yeah, five. I, just, I was just asking you no, how long it's going to no, take. I told you. I said, I would because it's going to take forever, I just go to another land. And I think the rule is, is you. The only person really is ruling here is you. All right. You can call the manager.
Yeah, I know what it is. We stand. What customer service, my guy? The store has a policy: refunds in the form of a gift card or debit card. But this guy was causing a whole drama, harassing them for cash. After a while, they just gave in and agreed to a refund to get him to leave. Uh, uh, refund in cash, please. I mean, just not, I just left. Oh, I was giving us an option of a gift card or a debit card. Back on the debit card for um, the only time count up to two and six cash. Is if it's I don't have three to ten days to wait on my refund. The law says you have to give your customers an option. Can you show me that law? I would really appreciate just get. I don't have to show you the law, man. I know my rights. I just want my refund in cash. That's simple. It's that simple. I've done it before. I can do it again. We can do only do that if it's oh, under ten dollars. Yeah. When it's over ten dollars, we can. Based on your policy. Yes, sir. Not the law. Based on our policy, so that's what we have to do. Is what our policy is. But I'm going by law. You can go to a different Walmart and maybe they'll do it. I didn't buy it from. I didn't buy it from a different Walmart. I bought it from this Walmart. I paid. Debt. I used my debit card, which is the same as cash. So I'm going to return. I'm going to refuse it right now. And what's your name? My name's Jeannie. I'm the front end manager. And what's your name? I'm Michelle. It's right here. All right. Thank you, Jeannie and Michelle. And I see you're recording, but that's okay. And this is the Walmart in York County, South Carolina, everybody. Yes, sir. Thank you. You can leave now. 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, to Terrence at Walmart threatened to call CPS on us because our kids were crying while walking through the Halloween Mom, 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 And that's how the cookie crumble, y'all. Watching. Click here to watch another Karen video, otherwise you may just get 7 years of bad luck.